Hey guys, it's just the crafter. I'm sorry, I got stuck there because I thought my camera wasn't rolling. But I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul from today. A real small one, um, 20 bucks, not too bad. Um, plus the tax, like 20 something. So not too bad either. Um, some new items, some items I have never seen before, which was great. I finally found the um, bunnies, the stand up on your own decor bunnies. I had them already in white. They only have one brown left, so I grabbed the brown one. My girl dog is, wants to have it. I guess she thinks it's a toy. Now the boy dog thinks it's a toy. They're not for you guys. Get away. Thank you. So yeah, so I got that one. And then I grabbed another white one. You can see they're pretty big. Liger, excuse me, please move back. Thank you. So yes, I got the brown and the white. Last year, I only got the whites. So this year, I'm glad that I at least have a brown one. Um, I don't know if the local spot by me is gonna have them because I have not seen them yet. I've seen everything else but that. Move your face, because it's not for you. Then, um, I found this 16 ounce bag of steak. It says Macaulay's Field to Table Steak Cut French Fries. It says GMO free, gluten free, zero trans fat, zero sat saturated fat, no added salt, 100% potatoes. In the back, it tells you. Um, this is a been a proud growing potato on Prince Edward's Island, Canada's smallest providence since 1985. So this is pretty good and it says all of our potatoes are fresh cut and water blanched with no added oils or salt. It tells you if you're gonna air fry it, how to do it with air fry. It says uh, preheat air fryer to 400, uh, spray fries with your favorite cooking oil, then cook for 20 to 25 minutes, tossing halfway. If you're going to use a regular stove, oven, uh, the oven on your regular stove, it says preheat oven to 450, lightly coat and bake, uh, um, Lightly coat a baking sheet with uh, your favorite cooking oil, spread fries in a single layer, bake for 30 minutes, turning halfway. So I grabbed that for $1.25, it's not bad. I grabbed the one, I don't know if anyone's going to like it in my household, so I just grabbed the one. Um, a lot of my people that live here, my daughter and my husband, they're very bougie, I will say it that way. They like original brands that they've seen before or regular name brands. If they have it, they'll grab that. But um, I'm not that picky. So this is pretty good for what it is for. It's just to eat, it's food, you know? Then um, I found these Matte Fashion by B Color um, Coffin Shape 12. It says glue not included. I got up two of these because I thought these were so cute. And I like to always grab two so I can have a spare. I will be doing my nails today, later on tonight with these. I thought these were so, so cool. So I grabbed those. Then I grabbed more of the um, vacuum storage bags. Um, provides three times more storage space, airtight and waterproof, protects against water, odor, mildew, dust, insects, and pests. Great for storage, pillows, beddings, towels, clothing, and soft toys. So I grabbed three of these. Sorry, the chair makes noise. And then I've been dying to get these and I haven't been able to find them. Um, these are the Scented Oil Warmers Diffuser um, by Shore Secret. 
sure scents. So I grabbed two. I grabbed two of the plug-in walls. This one will be for downstairs. One will be for downstairs and one for what will be for upstairs. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna put one in my daughter's room because she has a tendency of leaving her dirty socks around and it tends to smell in her room, but I'm not too sure yet. Um, so I, I grabbed just the two right now as of right now for one for downstairs for the living room and um, one for either my room or for my daughter's room. up here and then I grab these scents I grab um, these two separate different scents that I like I that I am very aware of one is amber amber wood um, sure scent scented oil refill uh, it says fits air wick oil warmer as well um, this one is this one is amber wood and the other one is a fresh linen refill So I grabbed one of each well, I grabbed two of each scent so I can have a backup Because they are very hard to find um, Which I'm glad that I found it at my other uh, Dollar Tree that that one's a little walk. It's like probably seven blocks away and the other one that I usually go to that's local it's literally three blocks away but they have hardly have anything in stock lately so I'm like over going to them so I'm now been taking the walk to where the other Dollar Tree is I rather walk and get more for my back than just have to go and waste my time at the one locally you know then um, I found this cone flower grow kit. Last time I said that I only found one. So I grabbed this one and this is going to be for my son since my son likes to grow his own plants and it, this instructs how to do it. It says include pot, seed, growing medium and instructions. In the back, it tells you growing instructions. It says Dissolve growing medium palette in three four cups of water and puff and pluff with a fork. Uh, fill pot with growing medium, leaving approximately one and a half. One a uh, half. It says approximately half of space at the top. Compress growing medium lightly. Yada yada. He has the website. So yeah, so I got him the cone flower growing kit. The last one I forgot, I think it was like daisies. So I grabbed them that one. And that was literally the only one they had left in stock. I seen it and since it wasn't open and it wasn't messed up, I grabbed it. Then I grabbed these um, storage bags, three large bags. These are like, oh, it has a handle. It says new double zipper seal. Um, it says conveniently stores, stores, organized, protects, and transports anything. These are 15 inches by 15 inches. Um, these will be for my Valentine Day gnomes and my little stuffed animals. I don't have anywhere to put them and I don't want them to get messed up. So I will be stacking them in this. And I got three because... It's pretty good for anything else that I want to store, like toys, um, food, uh, not food, uh, toys, um, organization stuff, cleaning products, things like that. These are good for, and they're heavy duty. So I grabbed two packs of these. Then I grabbed another pack of the um, applesauce because me and my daughter loves applesauce. So I grabbed this and it's also gluten free. It's apple snacks, home style applesauce sweetened, uh, made with real fruit, suggested serving. Of course, it's just four of them. It says total calories 90 per serving. So that's not bad. It says... Uh, 
This is also a, a product of Canada. So I grabbed that. Sorry guys, I've been running around all day, so I'm a little tired. Then I grabbed these home uh, at-home marijuana drug tests. Uh, yes, I'm still doing my testing. It says 98% accurate, easy to use, one test results in five minutes. So I grabbed those. They're pretty accurate so far. They have not failed me. Um, and it's pretty simple how to do it. Get a cup, pee in it, make sure it's warm because if they all, this test actually detects when it's been sitting out and it's not an actual um, at the time type of um, urine. So yeah, I grabbed two of those. And make sure you check the expiration dates. There is an expiration date on the bottom and it says these expire on 5-31-2023. So sorry again. And then I found these in Purtle nuts, artif artificially covered with chocolate coated cashew. These are a 2.25 ounce um, bag, and these are going to be great for me for work. It says three 350 in calories, 14 grams of trans fat, satin fat. I mean. Sodium, 25 milligrams, and then sugar, 29 grams. This is per serving. Um, it says expires 11, 17, 23. And this is how they look in the back. If you can see, they can show you a little clear view of how they look. They're pretty, pretty huge sizes. So yeah, so I grabbed... The only two that I saw, and these are something that I've never seen before, so I grabbed two of these to snack on at work. Since I have to leave so early, I need like something to keep me up and, and you know, and chocolate has caffeine, so it'll have that. I don't drink coffee, so that helps. Then I bought more of these Michelinas, my Michelinas, yeah, pizza snack rolls combination, sausage, sausage and pepperoni pizza in a golden crust. It brings 20 in the box and there's, um, it's a six ounce network, so it's not bad. Um, it tells you how to make them in the back as well. It says best by September 11th of 2022. So these are good until this year. Don't know where I put the remote. So I grabbed two of those. Oh, I'm so sorry. And then I grabbed more beef patties. Of course, always check the expiration. This says 12-27-2022. So I grabbed four of these. Because with the ones that I grabbed yesterday, I already ate two of them. And I think I only have one left. So, oh well. So, I eat a lot of these. So, these are be good for when I'm on a rush to go. I can heat it up, keep it in the pouch, eat it on the go for lunch as well. So, this is great. Then, I've seen these for a while. This is Dog Treats Floppers um, garment pet, pet treats bakery it says delicious delicious gar, garment pet treats made with a loving touch four simple in it says four simple ingredients made in the u.s <laughs> get away it's a four ounce bag it says expires 5-15-21. No, 5-15-23. I'm so sorry. I seen the 21 on the bottom, but that is the manufacturer um, manufacturer date or the code or batch code that they put. It, 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 it's a batch code that they put. He's trying to smell the food. So this expires 5-15-23. These are essentially sourced um great for the planet it says sustainably uh focused 
And then it says no corn filled or byproducts, food safety certified. Uh, these are peanut, uh, peanut butter flavor mini bones, fresh oven baked treats. Um, it does show the little bones. They're like little miniature little bones. Um, it says in the back, it's, um, was born in 2000. This is an establishment that was made in two, that started out in 2004. Um, it only has wheat, wheat flour, rolled oats, vitamin oil, and vegetable oil, not vitamin oil, vegetable oil and peanut flavor. So that is not bad. It has no meat products or any produce. It says do not freeze, do not heat, store in a cool, dry place. It says to be to be fed as treats only, not as a solid nutrition. Remember to always keep fresh, clean drinking water available for your pets. Um, it says contains wheat, peanut, manufactured in a facility that also uses milk. So that's not bad. So I grabbed two of these. And if they like it, I will get more. So I grab only two of those. They are in a resealable bag, but I have the little containers to put everything away. So with that being said, that is my complete haul. That is everything that I have gotten for today. So like I said, a very small haul. Um, Yesterday was my biggest, but that was because I bought a lot of food stuff and a lot of drink stuff. So they actually charge you for the five cents on the bottles and on the drinks. So um, with that being said, that is my whole haul. I hope you guys like, subscribe, and I hope you like it. Uh, maybe next time I would do a walkthrough so I can be able to post it later on. Um, I just don't really carry my tablet with me. Um, I'll do the walkthrough, but I will not do it at my local one. I would definitely be doing the walkthrough at my um, other one that's uh, a couple blocks away. Um, due to that, they're always stacked. They always have something. And since I'm not used to really recording in the public places due to people staring at us or staring at me if I'm by myself, I don't really like to be stared at when I do it. But... Um, yeah, I know that they don't really say anything to you if you walk through and um, show the products. They're not supposed to, for what I'm told. Um, but some managers can be very um, picky and very ugh about it. So yeah, with that being said, that's my whole haul, guys. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me here. And um, hope to see you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.